we're back. Welcome to Make It Happen Monday. Today, I'm going to share what I think is arguably the most inspirational, uplifting, and encouraging scientific reality of the last, that we've kind of uncovered over the last 15 years. And that is the genes are not destiny. And the reason is because we now know that genes have no ability to turn themselves off and on. And a gene can't do diddly squat to you, it can't do anything unless it's activated and turned on. And you say, well, Dr. Ann, what does turn genes off and on? Well, what we call that part of your cell, that part of your genetic material that does control gene function is called the epigenome, as in above the genome, right? The epigenome. You may have heard the exciting new scientific area of study called epigenetics. It's the study of this, this what I'm getting ready to tell you about. So, you say, well, Dr. Ann, if it's the epigenome that is regulating gene activity, turning genes off, turning genes on, what determines the epigenome? And the answer to that is you do because the epigenome is largely, is largely comprised of environmental influences. How are you eating? Are you eating bad foods? Are you eating good foods? Do you sleep? Are you, are you stressed? Are you not stressed? Are you over, you know, are you overweight? Or are you not overweight? Um, are you sleeping? Or are you not? Do you smoke? Do you not? All of these external environmental influences. So, believe it or not, nurture, trumps nature. Nurture trumps nature because again, genes have no ability to turn themselves off or on. What does that is the epigenome, which is largely determined by the choices you make over and the, your, the experience you have and the environment you're in over your entire life. Let me give you a couple examples of how powerful this is. Uh, we've had studies, more than one, that have looked at people that have the obesity gene, the most, well, there's lots of obesity genes, but there's one that's very famous, it's very prominent, it's very well documented, it's called the FTO gene. And about half the population in America has that gene, it's very common. They've been able to show if people that have that gene just simply regularly move and they're physically active, like going on a brisk walk most days, 45 minutes um, or more, then the gene dramatically tunes down and in some cases totally shuts off. Another example, they did a, a study looking at prostate, real prostate cancer cells and real prostate cancer survivors. And, and it was a, a controlled clinical trial. One group was told to increase their intake of broccoli by four servings a week. The other group was specifically told, keep doing what you're already doing. They really, they weren't doing broccoli before. And they looked at the gene activity in both of those two groups of male prostate cancer survivors prostate cancer cells. And lo and behold, they were able to identify that in the men that simply added four servings of broccoli to their diet a week, hundreds, 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 like over 500, hundreds of genes involved in cancer were favorably affected, right? So you have the power. No complaining if you've got a bad family history because studies are showing that you have the ability to turn bad genes off, this is the most important part, and good genes on by making healthy choices. So healthy behaviors, eating the right foods, getting your physical activity, getting your sleep, not getting stressed, all those things tend to turn good genes on and bad genes off and then vice versa, bad behaviors, turn bad genes on and good genes off. So, never forget, you have the power. I hope that inspires you. Thank you.